What's going on guys? I have some more talk today about the 2012 NFL offseason. I'm focusing on the Minnesota Vikings today and specifically Adrian Peterson. And everybody knows Adrian Peterson suffered a freak injury at the end of last year on Christmas Eve when they were playing against the Washington Redskins. And I believe it was Reed Doughty that laid the hit that Adrian Peterson was not able to get up from. And once I saw that hit I knew he had done something to his knee and it did not look good. But Adrian has been rehabbing, and he's actually been sprinting and racing against his teammates. I was reading an article yesterday saying that he was racing Percy Harvin up the, the hill over in Winter Park in Eden Prairie. Now, I'm not exactly who won between Percy Harvin and Adrian Peterson, but Peterson is sprinting. He has been sprinting like four and a half, five months after his injury. He's been at OTAs and workouts with his teammates, and he just wants to get back out to the field. He loves playing football, and he's one of the hardest working players in the NFL, and that's part of why he is my favorite player in the entire league on my favorite team. And now the question is, is Adrian Peterson going to be out there week one against the Jacksonville Jaguars, active in the lineup, ready to go out and do what he does best, and that's run the football. And I'll definitely be looking at more articles as they come out because Eric Sugarman, the Vikings trainer, has been rehabbing with Adrian Peterson and getting him up to full speed and helping him through his progression with his rehabilitation. I say he's like 50-50 for training camp, but Adrian, of course, wants to be out there. I don't really want to see Peterson play in the preseason because it's kind of meaningless. I would like to see him week one against Jacksonville get like five to ten carries. Toby Gerhardt last year, he had to come in when Adrian was hurt, and he had a much better second season in the league than he did his rookie season, so I have confidence in Toby Gerhardt to be productive when he plays running back. I mean, last year he quietly had 109 carries for 531 yards. Adrian did not have 1,000 last year. He had 970, so I'm looking forward to Adrian getting back out there, and I want to see him be back to the old Adrian Peterson. I don't want to see him take one snap until he is 100%. And whether they want to ease him into the regular season, make sure he's ready to go, give him like 5-10 carries against Jacksonville, and then the next week against the Colts, give him some more carries, get him ready. Those first two games are against lesser opponents. And so I think we could see Adrian Peterson out there in week one. I don't really want to see him in the preseason, but this offseason has just been so exciting around the league and with my Minnesota Vikings. They've embraced the fact that they are a rebuilding team, but as far as a rebuilding team goes... The Vikings have some good talent and a lot of young players now on this team that I'm looking forward to, especially this season. Uh, they got Matt Khalil, obviously, in the draft. They got Charlie Johnson moved to guard. Jeff Schwartz and Brandon Fusco are going to fight for that right guard spot. This offensive line could be very good this coming year. They could be much improved from last year when Ponder got sacked 30 times and Peterson's had many bad lines in his career playing for the Vikings. And so I want to see Peterson back healthy with a good line and hope that he can be the Adrian Peterson of old and see what he can do on the field this year. I hope his offense is much more balanced and Adrian's not going to be so relied upon. I hope that they can get some yards to the air this year, but I'm looking forward to the season, guys. What do you think about Adrian Peterson? Will he be out there week one against Jacksonville, and will he be the Adrian Peterson that he has always been? Anyways, guys, I'll have some more videos coming soon. I hope in the first game he doesn't get 35 carries like in here, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.